What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today we're going to be finding out if Boot Camp can run on an Apple Silicon Mac. So if we were to take a look at our applications folder, by default there's no Boot Camp right here. It's not even the utilities folder if we were to take a look at right here. There's no Boot Camp. But it's actually still inside of macOS. We just need to search up Boot Camp, and then we need to search our Actually, it shows up right here in our utilities. So what we need to do is we need to get info and then we need to open using Rosetta right here. Because this is a universal app, we'll be able to open it using Rosetta, which means that we have the Intel version of the app still in here. And we just are able to run the Intel version on our Apple Silicon Mac using Apple's Rosetta technology. By just right clicking on open, Let's just click on continue. Oh, a problem has occurred. So it's gonna have us quit bootcamp, but we can just open it again. Now what if we download our Windows support software? Just gonna put that on the root of Macintosh HD, because why not? I've never seen that screen before, we're just going to continue. Okay, so the Windows support software is not available from the software update server. So maybe it is detecting somewhere in the software update server that we are on an Apple Silicon Mac. It's probably giving us our serial number, so Apple knows that we are on an Apple Silicon Mac, and the software update server is not returning the Windows support software. So that's probably why this isn't working. Unfortunately, I looked through the directory of Bootcamp, and there is nothing that we can use to get inside of Bootcamp. I even tried running this, but it just returns. This Mac doesn't support Bootcamp, even if we use the terminal window. And there is no check mark to open this using Rosetta, so can't do that, so this probably opens up the Apple Silicon app. But I did find a plist file in here, and open it up with Visual Studio Code, and it does say that we are on the MacBook Air 7 one. And I'm gonna search up what MacBook this is real fast. Okay, for some reason it is identifying our Mac as a early 2015 MacBook Air. I'm just going to get the early 2020 MacBook Air ID real fast. I'm gonna change this to MacBook Air 9.1, since the MacBook Air 9.1 can run Mac OS 13. And it looks like that we have one more thing we have to change. We have to change the build machine OS build. So what I'm guessing this is, is, is that it is the specific key for our Apple Silicon MacBook running Mac OS 13.2. I will need to change this real fast to something else. So I'm just going to make this 19A to see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't crash boot camp assistant. I cannot find something specific to that. And I'm also going to change this to 12.3 just to be on the safe side. Got to make sure all of them are 12.3 and it looks like the rest is all finished. Now I'm just going to search up Ventura even though I doubt it. Yep, there's no Ventura in there so we should be able to save this and I got to retry it looks like. I'm just going to try to save this manually real fast. I got our modded plist file. I'm just going to back this up real fast and we got our info2.plist. Now I'm going to drag this in here. Oh, it doesn't look like it's letting us modify it. I'm guessing since because this is a system app it's not going to let us modify anything in here, including if we were to just remove the app icon, that's just not going to work. Yeah, so unfortunately, it's just not going to work. So unfortunately, I'll have to say that running Bootcamp on Apple Silicon MacBooks is possible, but running Windows on an Apple Silicon MacBook is proven false. Unfortunately, at the time that there's a contract between Microsoft and Qualcomm, we will not be able to run Windows on our Apple Silicon MacBooks as of right now. So thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!